so hello guys and welcome back so today we will be continuing with our 100 dg advanced question series once again and guys i am really sorry because the 100 dg series is a bit delaying because i am a little busy in something else so guys the question that you right now see on screen is a question from mit integration b 2022 now my justification for picking this question up is because I saw something very similar in the J Advanced 2025 paper. There was one question I remember which was very similar to this in the J Advanced 2025 paper, okay. So I thought of picking up this question and obviously it's a good question because it's from MIT Integration B. And one more thing guys, I also tried to develop a cool sort of like explanation on like obviously this would be solved using something right so there would be a special substitution that we are going to do which will help us to solve this but like we have some questions in mind sometimes that why did we do this substitution and then we will hear people saying that this is the way it is solved okay no correct explanation or maybe like one explanation could be that the limits are like that 1 by 2022 and 2022 like it's like u and 1 by u so that's why we put 1 by u as the substitution okay i actually told you the substitution so it's not hidden anymore but anyways like u will be substituted as 1 by x okay so that is one reason but i tried to develop a reason which is actually more logical and that is using graphs okay so we will see that obviously at the end but first is we will solve this integral so guys because i have already told you the substitution so i guess no more waiting we will directly go into solving this okay so guys i am starting off so what we are going to do is we will substitute your u as 1 by x okay so actually this thing would become integral and this would be 1 by 2022 2 2022 and obviously if you flip this then this will be dx is equal to minus 1 by u square du okay okay so this is the limits guys and after this this will become 1 plus of okay wait i actually jumped one step wait i will try not to jump steps okay like this was actually this limit would be 2022 to 1 by 2 0 2 2 but there would be a minus sign here okay and this is dx equal to minus du by u square so if you like rearrange this this will become 1 plus 1 by u square and this thing is whole divided by 1 by u square plus of your 1 by u power 2 0 2 2 and this thing is multiplied by du by u squared okay uh ah okay i guess it's correct and guys after this like we will try to flip the limits because minus sign and the limits are also not looking very good so i will flip the limits and write this as your integral 1 by 2 0 2 2 2 2 0 2 2 and also i'm doing one thing like the variable doesn't matter right it's definite integration so variable doesn't quite matter that's why i am like replacing all u's with x only okay so this will become 1 plus 1 by x square and whole divided by 1 by x square plus of 1 by x powered 2 0 2 2 and this thing is dx by x squared okay okay so guys this is the like problem till here it's really normal but after this something is going to happen that will extremely blow your minds okay this is the place where actually the problem becomes super stormy so right now what I am going to do is I will multiply x power 2020 on numerator and denominator both. Now there is a reason behind that that I will tell you a little later. So this will be integral 1 by 2022 to 2022. And this will become x power 2020 plus of x power 2018. And this thing will be whole divided by x power 2020 plus 1 dx. Right. So right now if we take some common and stuff then this will be 1 by 2 0 2 2 and this will be 2 0 2 2 obviously this will be x power 2 0 1 8 taken common so 1 plus x squared and this thing would be x power 2 0 2 0 plus 
one dx okay now guys after this what are we going to do because this is seeming like a complete deadlock and there is no king's rule queen's queen's rule whatever like nothing is actually applying here okay so there's where, where the twist comes out and the real twist is that if i take our actual integral question and take this to be equal to some i okay so if i take this integral to be equal to some i then actually this is also equal to i right so if i take i equals to the question and if i take i equals to this thing and add them up then i will actually become equals to there would be a 2i right so half and integral 1 by 2 0 2 2 to 2 0 2 2 and this thing would become x power 2 0 1 8 1 plus x square whole divided by x power 2 0 2 0 plus 1 and this thing is plus with your 1 plus x square whole divided by x power 2 0 2 0 plus 1 times x square like the same thing if you take it common from the denominator in that fraction as well right so like this is pretty cool actually now why are we doing this and what will be the benefit right that is the main question so guys for that actually what i will do is i will add these two fractions up right now okay so this will become half integral 1 by 2 0 2 2 like see this question is so insane this step is really insane okay you like if it is king's rule then only you have a standard idea in your like mostly in your common sums if you have a standard idea that in king's rule we have to add up but this thing won't ever come to your mind easily unless and until you have some observation powers okay and the observation is what are we going what we are going to do right now in this addition of the two fractions if you don't actually see that you will never ever have this step in mind and if you don't have this step in mind the sum is unsolvable okay that's why this this question is really insane so this would like if we add this up this would actually be x power 2020 0, 0 times 1 plus x square plus 1 times of 1 plus x square and this thing would be whole divided by x square times x power 2020 0, 0 plus 1 the lcm right whole dx so after this if you actually see you can take something like common from the numerator part so if you do that this will become x power 2020 0, 0 plus 1 times 1 plus x square whole divided by x square times x power 2020 0, 0 plus 1 dx so you can see this and this thing are completely cancelled okay they are completely gone so what you are left with is this half integral 1 by 2 0 2 2 2 2 0 2 2 and this will be i guess 1 plus 1 by x square dx so that stuff was reduced to this okay and this is really cool this step we did above adding up that part that fraction after multiplying x power 2020 on both numerator and denominator after that adding up that particular expression to the question expression that is actually the main step okay you don't have that in mind your answer would never come so guys i hope this is pretty clear so like now nothing is left easy integration so if you actually integrate this this would simply come out to be 2022 minus 1 by 2022 okay after this the question is pretty simple what do i say so guys i hope question is done so this will be the final answer for the question but anyways i told you in the beginning that i will give you a short explanation about why we are choosing it as 1 by u or 1 by x whatever right so let's start off with that explanation and i hope you will like it because this is something that came out of my mind randomly okay so guys right now this is the expression that was given to us and i will do a very sort of quick like analysis of this so if you actually see this first thing here f of like if this is equal to f of x then f of x is equal to f of minus x so basically this is an even function right first thing okay second thing about this function that i see 
is that if you take your x as tending to 0, if you tend x to 0, f of x is actually somewhere approximating to 1 by x square, okay? Like guys, see this is, I am doing this all with approximation, but in your level, like in your school exams and all, please don't use this. This is something that you use when you have a crisis of time, okay? If you have real crisis of time, and this is obviously a very simple algebraic expression, no trigonometry log and stuff. That's why I have used this approximation because it's only powers, okay? Don't use this, like, I would seriously tell you don't use this. There is real depth of this in higher mathematics. So unless and until you know things in depth, don't use them just because you want, okay? This is simple powers, that's why I have used. Okay, so this is when x is tending to 0, you will see f of x is tending to 1 by x square. So this actually implies that this function f of x has a vertical asymptote at x equal to 0. This will have a vertical asymptote at your x equals to 0. Okay. Okay, that's the first point. Now if we move on to the next point where your x tends to infinity okay now we are tending x to infinity or if you have like a logic with y not minus infinity y only plus infinity then better write mod x or just write mod x tending to a huge value okay so it will actually take everything into place so for that case actually if you approximate this thing f of x will approximate to like something to about x square by x power 2022 right why because if mod x is re really huge, then your x square will be very high or 1 will be very negligible in comparison to x square. Right? And in case of x power 2022 and x square, the same thing happens. So this is approximating to like almost 1 by x power 2020. So what does this imply? This actually implies that f of x has a horizontal asymptote. Okay? f of x has a horizontal asymptote. at y equals to 0. So I guess this much is like crazy enough for us to draw the curve of this. Okay, so I will draw the curve for this and show you. Okay, so guys before drawing the curve, just one more thing, like there would be actually some like breaks in the curve. Okay, so those breaks are not breaks actually, like the curve would tend to turn at some sharp corners. So for that actually, what you do is just check at these points x equals to 0 x equals to 1 and y equals to 2 okay these are only some points like anyways if i would have drawn this curve with a proper double differentiation method then i would have checked at the points but for the time being our like goal is not to understand how the graph is drawn our goal is to understand how we are going to analyze the reason why we took it as 1 by x or 1 by u okay so guys the graph would be something like this like this is actually overlapped my graph is not looking so overlapped but this is actually overlapped and this would go like this and after this this would go something like this and this is obviously to infinity and the same because it's an even function, so same thing, just mirror it on the right hand side. Okay, and this went up to like this. This is an like curve, okay, my curve is not looking so smooth, I know, but anyways. Okay, so this is our curve guys, for f of x. Like a very rough diagram, I know, but enough for us to understand, okay? So this is the graph, guys, and now let's come towards the main question, like what relation this has with our substitution, right? So let's go to that. Okay, so if you actually observe u equals to 1 by x, okay, we will try to check some tendencies. If you see the graph of f of x, very when like not near to 0, when graph of f of x is tending to 0 or rather when x is tending to 0, f of x nears infinity, right? And the same thing is with this. When your x will tend to 0, like it's actually 0 plus and 0 minus case here. 
So for that actually what you can do is just 10 dex to 0 plus you will see that this thing is tending towards plus infinity as well. Okay. Like if you want a very exact term for this, then I can say that this is reciprocal symmetry. Reciprocal symmetry. Okay. Like this reciprocal symmetry actually mirrors the way the graph of 1 by x relates your small x and large x. Okay. Or if you want maybe another language for this, then you can say that f of x has a duality between x and 1 by x. Okay. That would be a more appropriate statement, I guess. So these words are really important. Like J advance can use these anytime. Okay. So guys, I guess that will be the explanation. Very really short explanation, I know, but enough to explain why we take these substitutions. Okay, like there is actually real sort of relations in between the graphs. It's not always possible for us to draw the graph of every indefinite integral we do obviously because this was a very simple one but there are more complex ones so not possible but at least we can get some idea that there are relations in between the substitutions we do right so guys i hope that will be the end for today's video and i hope you have liked this explanation and also the question because the question was really good and one similar question was asked in 2025 j advance also and this question is from mit integration b 2022 so no doubt maybe there is some sort of idea copying here okay who knows anyways guys that will be the end for today's video if you have liked my channel do like share and subscribe any doubts or anything do come to my comment section and also you can join my telegram discussion chat because i am discussing and also people are discussing really fruitful things for your preparation okay so that's it for today guys and thanks for watching